Good morning, folks. Top story, Ohio State University Radiology Department, Pierre-Marie Robitaille. Highly respected in his field until about 11 years ago, he began questioning the standard models of physics and then a Velikovsky-style lashing was laid by his colleagues. More than a decade later, his work presses on, stating the sun is a liquid, its surface has metallic properties, and that the sun is not a gas but condensed matter. And that condensed matter notion is much closer to my thoughts than anything I've ever heard before. Dear Dr. Dollard, it's not hollow and certainly not dying. You folks want to get behind someone, try this. This might sound weird, but the 6.3 in Santa Cruz yesterday represents a slight downtick in quakes, largest of the day and the only six-pointer. Of note, however, a mid-five-pointer just north of Venezuela is abnormal for the area. I missed Noah's update last week on the U.S. drought. The southeast is abating that today, but out west it's a struggle. Looking at the tropics map, Haley wandering around in the Pacific while Cyclone 15 formed in the Indian Ocean. Still weak, but might take off east soon. Got some lows in northern Australia, and this large red high pressure moves counterclockwise in the southern hemisphere, meaning Perth gets equatorial heat. New Zealand mitigates heat with Arctic breeze. The lows up north obviously are going to be a rainmaker with thunderstorms. In Europe, this deep extending low is your weather driver right now, and when you see how the clouds go way down and come back north, it's easy to see why snow is melting north of Moscow, but hundreds of miles south, it's still frigid. Here, 24 hours of temperature change. When you have a counterclockwise spinning load this deep in pressure, the drive on the air is tremendous. Last night and into this morning, as you watch the snow head north, the leading tail converging Gulf air with drier cool air is making the severe weather down south where tornadoes began tearing through America last night, and we're in for more here tonight. Lastly, the southern edge of that North Pacific low is guiding moisture right over the coast. Check your local precipitation forecasts. See February 5th news if you don't know why we show critical frequency. Here's one week of reading still out of control over the year. We had a gamma ray burst last night from the constellation Vela, way down south. To complement yesterday's solar wind die down, the energetic flux of spaceship Earth is waning. Quick look at the sunspot starting top right and coming around. We have the departing active region that grows laterally, has about a day or two to fire away. On the limb, this guy is all alone but big enough to be significant to the umbral field and by tonight, this could be decayed completely, or it could be beta gamma. We'll see. Got the last of the coronal holes facing us today, up north and down south, awaiting the coronal hole stream tomorrow. A beautiful filament eruption is visible here in 304 angstroms via the Solar Dynamics Observatory. Just after that, we have a filament that is destabilizing further this way towards Earth. Let the quakes continue to wane as the uptick watch does end tonight. Tiny CME impact expected tomorrow morning as well. Eyes open. No fear at 6.35 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.